Okay, new Dungeons and Dragons 5th edition players, you're all excited to play your first wizard or sorcerer or cleric, but you're having a little bit of confusion on what the difference is between spell slots, spells known, and spells prepared each day. Don't worry, it's a lot less complicated than you think, and hopefully this video will help you understand what each of these terms mean for your character, and help you understand a little bit better on how to play D&D 5e as a spellcaster. Let's throw two minutes up on the clock, and we'll begin. First, let's start with spells known. This works a little differently for different classes, as some classes know every spell on their class spell list, like the Cleric and Druid, for example, and some classes only know some of the spells for their class, like the Bard and the Sorcerer. An easy tip to figure out whether your class knows every spell or just some of the spells on their class list is to look at their class's table and see if it includes a spell's known column as shown here with the ranger table. If it doesn't, like here with the cleric table, then your class knows or has access to all of their spells. The only exception to this tip is the wizard, which starts off by only knowing a few spells, but because of their spell book feature, whenever they come across a spell scroll or another spell book, they may spend time and resources adding that spell to their own book and to their spells known. Additionally, if your class only knows a few select spells from their entire spell list, those classes will gain new spells known whenever they level, and most of them will even let you trade out some of your old spells known for new spells known for your character whenever they do level. The second part of the equation is spells prepared if your class has access to every spell on their spell list. So, as an example, a cleric knows every spell on their spell list. However, they may only prepare a few of those spells each day before they head off on an adventure. This, in essence, will give them roughly the same amount of spells in their spell's known pool to cast from as classes who only have a few known spells, with the added bonus that these classes can swap those out each day with any spell in their class spell list instead of being stuck with them until they level. Check the spells prepared section for your class under their spell casting feature to see how many spells your character can prepare each day. Typically, you'll want to let your dungeon master know which spells you are preparing and taking with you for the day after the party rests for the night. And finally, we have spell slots. To make a really bad analogy here, these are sort of like how many bullets in your gun you have. Or for you video game players, it's a bit akin to how much mana you have. In order to cast a spell that you know or that you have prepared for the day, you'll need to spend a spell slot of the appropriate level. Once you cast the spell, you use your spell slot even if your spell misses your target or if they resist its effects. While you always have the choice to spend a higher level spell slot to cast your spell if you are out of spell slots for a particular level, sometimes your spells will even have additional effects, let you target more creatures or do additional damage when you do use a spell slot of a higher level than what your spell actually calls for. So be sure to check your spells for those added bonuses. And as one more tip, cantrips work a little differently than spells with levels like first level spells, etc. Your class's table will tell you how many cantrips you know at each level, as no class in the game knows all of their respective cantrips. And you may cast these cantrips as much or as little as you want, regardless of your remaining spell slots. So if you do run out of spell slots as a bard or a druid, don't worry, you'll still be able to throw as many firebolts at your enemies as you want. And that's it for this video on how spell slots work in Dungeons & Dragons 5th edition. Hopefully now you're ready to go sling spells in your next game with confidence. If this is your first time here and you love role-playing games as much as I do, or you're learning how to love role-playing games as much as I do, I would love to have you subscribe. Every week I put out new videos on GM tips, player tips, tutorials just like these, and a lot of other stuff. So if that sounds like something you might be interested in, just hit that subscribe button down below and come join us. Thank you guys so much for watching. My name is Cody, and may your games be filled with awesome memories and even better friends. I'll catch you guys next time. Yeah.